What if by using a service called Etsy Print on Demand, you could start from scratch and earn $10,000 to $15,000 a month while remaining at home? Guess what? You don't even have to touch a physical product. Welcome to Finance Simple, where money is made easy, and you will learn just about that. Anyone may use Etsy Print on Demand. No matter how skilled you are, or how much money you have or don't have, you will learn step by step how to launch your own Etsy Print on Demand company. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. For instance, if you visit Etsy and type the search term graphic t shirts into the search bar, you are presented with pages and pages of t shirts that are for sale, the majority of which have graphics or text on them. A print on demand company has the advantage that you essentially never have to handle, store, or preserve any physical products. This is so because goods are only produced when a sale is completed. The actual print on demand vendor will only then send the product directly to the customer. Therefore, choosing the specific products you'll offer is the first step in getting started with Etsy Prints on Demand. Once you've determined what you're going to sell, it's time to start coming up with design ideas, and the first thing you'll need to do is actually get some inspiration. You can find design inspiration in a wide range of locations. You have Dribbble, Pinterest, and Design Inspiration, to name just a few. However, suppose for the sake of argument that you were looking for sock design ideas. In that instance, you could visit Pinterest and then type in sock inspiration or sock design to find what you're looking for. You'll find hundreds of unique sock designs and the inspiration won't stop coming as you scroll. The objective here isn't to duplicate this concept verbatim. You're not advised to steal those concepts and possibly get in trouble with the law. No, stealing and being inspired is not the same thing. For instance, you see some socks that are quite cool. If you look closer, there is a pin there that connects to an Etsy website, and if you click the hyperlink to go and check the Etsy page, you will see how much those socks are selling for, like about $10.27. You could also go to the seller's page where you can see if they sell other kinds of socks. So, if you do a little math and multiply the total number of sales, say the store sells about 31,000 pairs of socks, multiply that by $10.27 since that seems to be the average price at which their socks are selling. Therefore, 31,000 multiplied by 10.27 must be a large number. Just from Etsy, their sales totaled more than $318. Just bear in mind that most of that is passive money since they're probably also doing Etsy prints on demand. Going to another website, rollpixel.com, and then selecting elements is what you are going to do next. There are many categories listed there, but let's say you just select PNG graphic elements, shapes, and then filter the elements by free. Then, you can just start browsing through till you find something you like. You can go ahead and get it for free once you find some shapes that you like there. That will serve as the basis for your sock design. So, you'll go to another website, printify.com, to be exact. To sign up for free, just click there where it says, Start Selling. You should see the home page once you've signed up. You can start developing your own custom product, which is what you'll do initially, or you can order a sample of a product. You'll then connect your Etsy store to Printify afterward. So, there is a sizable selection of various things that you can create from that page. But for the sake of this video, you'll concentrate on socks. So, you will click Start Designing after selecting socks. For various perspectives may be seen there. You have the front left leg, front right leg, back left leg, and back right leg as perspectives for editing. You really have a great deal of freedom and control over the design. Then, under Add Design, you are going to click on my device there and then upload the shapes that you just downloaded for free from RowPixel. Then, simply enable the option there that says Create Pattern by clicking on the shape layer somewhere there. So, what that does is simply duplicate the pattern on that portion of the side. You can change things like the offset, angle, and the horizontal and vertical spacing. If you preview it, you will be able to see what it looks like and you could make further changes until you're satisfied. You could either just repeat this on either side of the sock or, if you wanted to, get a little more creative. So, let's say you click on the back left leg and then navigate to unsplash.com. In case you weren't aware, Unsplash is a fantastic website. It is completely free to use the images on that website for both personal and professional purposes. For instance, you could just type in pink background or anything similar. You are going to download an image you like, then once that is done downloading, you will return to Printify, upload that image, click on Fill to Place Holder, evaluate it, and then print it. After that, you can view the finished product. If you don't like the outcome, you can simply repeat the process until you finally make something you like, right? The point is that Printify makes designing exceedingly simple. It's simple to move around and find your way around. 
Imagine, for instance, if you wanted to throw away the entire design since it wasn't that appealing when you first made it. Go back to rollpixel.com, say you looked for strawberry images, filter by free, and download an image you like. Let's say you just want a yellow sock with red strawberries on it or something. Go to Printify, upload the strawberry there, and then perform the same pattern settings as you did the first time. Change the sock's background color to yellow, preview it, and that's it. Pretty simple to do, right? You may simply say that you hate patterns, right? That's totally fine. Perhaps you just don't want to decorate your socks with various images of palm trees. Maybe you just want to go completely bonkers and stick random pictures of individuals on your socks. Same thing again, you visit and splash, type in face, download the first face you find, upload it, and boom, you now have a sock with a face. The point is that you don't need to be a skilled designer who can create images from nothing to complete this method properly. Simply find some inspiration by visiting websites like Raw Pixel, Unsplash, Pexels, or Envato Elements, then look for free graphics and photos that you may use on your products. Open your Etsy shop by simply visiting Etsy.com, scrolling to the section that says Sell on Etsy, and clicking that link. Next, assuming you already have a free Printify account, go to Printify.com, click on My Store, and then click where it says Manage My Stores. When you click the Connect button that appears, you'll see Etsy listed as one of your top choices. When you click Connect, you'll be sent right to a page where you can decide whether you provide Printify access to your Etsy store. Naturally, you'll consent to giving Printify access, and after that, you'll be taken back to Printify. A success message will appear, and that's it. It's really that simple. You can now publish products directly from your Printify account and have listings for your Etsy store made instantly. However, since we promised to make this step-by-step -step guide, here are each step on how you can do everything. Open your own Etsy shop, make your first product on Printify, link your Printify account with your Etsy shop. To begin with, you want to visit Etsy and register a new account. But before you do that, you are going to make a new Gmail account just for that business. After creating a new email, you will simply return to Etsy and start a new shop. Okay, once you're done, you are going to Printify and do the same thing there. Create a new Printify account using your new email address. If you remember from earlier, it was mentioned that a cool idea could be to offer t-shirts that had square images of cities printed on them. So, the first thing you're going to do is head over to Unsplash, where you can practically get an endless supply of absolutely free photographs that you can use for your product. Simply just enter City or Aerial View, and you can choose iconic city images like a New York City image, and simply go to your Printify account, select Shirts, import the image from Unsplash there, and then place it on the t-shirt. This is the design for the most part, with a few minor tweaks here and there. Maybe you want to add something to the t-shirt, like the city's name, and you'll simply fiddle around with the text there a little bit. If you like what you see, simply save your product, and that will be it. The procedure doesn't have to go on for days, weeks, or even months. Now that you have your first item prepared for sale on Etsy, what comes next? It's time to connect Printify to your Etsy store. So, if you remember from earlier in the video, you'll simply click on My Store, then on the drop-down menu here, select Manage Stores. You'll then notice a button that reads Connect. Just click that button, select Etsy, and then connect it. So, after you have done that, you'll notice that the item you just produced appears. To publish that item to Etsy, all you have to do is click the Publish button. However, one thing you should do first is go into the product and check the pricing before you do that. Printify will provide you with a proposed pricing, but it is not advised to actually follow it. You should go visit Etsy and see how much comparable goods to yours are selling for there. For instance, you'll simply visit Etsy and type in graphic t-shirt art. You will see that most of those t-shirts are priced between $20 and $30, so you can just set the price of yours at $19.99. You will see that your product is now legitimately posted on Etsy, you are now open for business, and the entire process took, what, 5 minutes. That is how simple it is to get started on an Etsy print-on-demand business. How did you like the method we have for you today? Feel free to rewind the video if there are parts you skipped on and just take your time to make the most effective method to make a lot of money. Always stay focused on learning and developing discipline. Get educated, make a plan, and stay the course. If you found this informative, smash the like button, please share it with a friend, comment down below, and let us know what would you like to have made Finance Simple next. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss new content. Keep your head up, ears open, and always search for knowledge. See you soon.